Learning how to peak angles in Valorant are one of the most important mechanics to master, as mastering this will turn you into a headshot machine. So let's jump right into the video. Let's first talk about the fundamentals of peaking. When going forward, peaking an angle, the most fundamental thing you gotta have in your head is thinking about where an enemy might hold and what could be a common spot they're standing. Think about where they usually stood throughout the last couple of rounds. And after you thought about where the enemies usually like to hold, you want to expect that the enemy is standing there. What I mean by this is that it's much better to almost always think that an enemy is standing at the angle you're about to clear. Ah, there's no one there, thank God. Wait, where did they come from? Even if they aren't there, thinking that there are always people there will prime your brain into getting ready to shoot, which will therefore help with your reaction time since you're more primed to shoot and therefore expect them to be there. This mechanic is usually referred to as pre-aiming. Pre-aiming is important as you prime yourself to line up your crosshair with the perfect headshot. Now, the question is, how do you go forward with a peak? What peak should you use? I'm sure you've heard the terms jiggle peak, shoulder peak, wide swing, pop and swing, jump peak, etc. Which one do you use at which time? That's the question. And what are these peaks? The two most fundamental peaks you have in Valorant are jiggle peaks and wide swings. These are the two basics, but then you have other peaks that build on them. So let's first go over the two basic peaks and then we go deeper to the more advanced peaks. How about that? The most common peak in the game is the wide swing. A wide swing peak is usually what everyone does when they peek an enemy. You swing out wide into the angle to try to frag the enemy. With the wide swing peak, I see way too many of you dry peeking it. A dry peek is peeking an angle without any info or utility at all. This is the easiest way to get you killed by an enemy holding the angle. That's why you usually want to combine a wide swing with an info gathering peek like a jiggle peek or the others I'm going to show you. The other basic peek is the jiggle peek. A jiggle peek is essentially a very short peek where you always strafe, meaning you hold either A or D and then immediately go back to cover. This peek is usually used for two things, pre-firing and gathering info. Pre-firing with a jiggle peek is usually used when you know or expect an enemy is holding a common angle to try to kill him without putting yourself at a lot of risk of getting killed. I'm sure this has happened to you a million times before. The other way you use a jiggle peek is a jiggle for info. Basically, try to spot an enemy or a piece of utility and then immediately fall back after you peeked. A safer variation of this is called a shoulder peek. The main purpose of a shoulder peek is to either one, bait shots from the opponent, usually operator shots, or two, gather information on the enemies. The baiting of the op shots is used so you can peek an operator while they recharge the bullet. It can also give you time to reposition to a spot that they don't expect, so use that time wisely. The other purpose gathering information is normally used just before taking a fight to gather as much info as possible to make the fight more in your favor. The important part of a shoulder peek is to never expose yourself too much. What I mean by this is you should never let yourself take damage from a shoulder peek. It's supposed to be almost 100% risk free. This also means that with the shoulder peek, you shouldn't really see the opponent in your peek. He's the only one supposed to see you, but only your shoulder. The great thing about a shoulder peek is you can combine this peak with the wide swing after you found out the enemy's location. A wide swing with the info of where a player is is going to give you the advantage as a Valorant has something called Peeker's Advantage. Peeker's Advantage is something that exists in all first person shooter games and comes from network and latency. I won't go too much in depth on this, but just know that Peeker's Advantage is a thing in Valorant. The person peeking will therefore always have a slight reaction time advantage. Now, if you want a little more info, you can also do a jump peek. A jump peek is essentially an advanced version of a shoulder peek, but makes you able to peek wider while being safe. For a jump peek, you want to jump forward while pressing S and A or the S and D key. You can also just use your mouse, although this is often a bit harder as you have to strafe properly. Usually for jump peeks, you want to utilize them when a round is in a standstill. And what I mean by standstill is that when nothing is really happening in the game, it can therefore be a great way of getting control of the information of a match to gain you that upper hand. Another variation of a jump peek is the jump peek with an intention to kill. This is usually done with an operator. You simply jump into an angle and then scope immediately when you land. I won't go too much in depth on this, but uh, I do have some TikTok videos explaining this. Now, I'm sure if you heard people say pop and swing, oh, he's just running gunning me and ranked and blah, 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 blah. These swings are a variation of the wide swing and are very situational. 
The run and gun peak is basically just a wide swing that keeps going forever while run and gunning. This peak can be good sometimes if you know an enemy is playing a rat spot and you want to punish him by swinging forever. The important thing with this swing is to only use weapons such as the Spectre, Frenzy, Judge or Stinger. Very rarely should you use any other weapon because of the inaccuracy of the weapon. The pop and swing is another very situational peak. A pop and swing is a wide swing that is wider than normal. Usually you want to take a few more steps in the swing. The purpose for this swing is for people who hold an angle to start spraying and standing still. This gives you time to line up a headshot for a fast kill. You usually want to use this with some jiggle peeking first to throw off your enemy's cross replacement as they will try to pre-fire you when you jiggle. Lastly, if you're going to peek an enemy who's holding a close angle, you can always crouch peek into them. Basically, if an enemy is holding a really close angle, their crosshair placement needs to shift a huge amount if you're crouching as they're holding the angle at head height. You can therefore sometimes crouch into an angle to throw off their crosshair placement. The way you do this is to simply run and then just before they see you, you crouch into the angle. Do not crouch the whole way as that makes you an easy target to kill. That's it for the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. I used way too long on this video. Please let me out. Please let me out.